What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel today We are set up on the desk because we are going to be buying the absolute cheapest versions of shoes like these ones right here The off-white Jordan 1 EU to EU the UNC's in blue We're gonna be going for every single color now This entails the ones like the Chicago's UNC's and EU's. we're gonna be going for all three of those because they have reached Astronomical prices. Let me do some quick research and show you guys how expensive these shoes have gotten. For example, let's see each of these shoes brand new on StockX in my size, how much they go for. First off, the UNC's are at $1,350, Chicago's are at $4,375, and the EU's are at $3,599, which is insanely expensive. Now, the goal for this is to find them probably in a used, you know, manner. Buying them new is not going to be the easiest thing, and a lot of the times, a really good fakes are new. So, we're going to be having to weed out the fakes. Maybe we'll have to buy, like, a nice pair of fakes off of eBay or something. But if we do it, we know we can get our money back because they're fakes. That doesn't make much sense, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go back, search through a few websites and see what we can do. Now, StockX is not going to be the place where I can find a good deal. I think our best bet is to go to places like Goat as well as eBay and see what we can find. The one thing that I know with Goat is it has to go through their authentication system even if it's used. With other apps like eBay, there's no authentication or grill. So we're going to type in Off-White Jordan 1 Chicago. For the most part, Goat is good about taking down products that look to be fake and obviously they can be authenticated as well. So if we go to the use section, we show the 66 results. Let's go to the cheapest pair. Now on the phone, it's a little bit different. We have one right here in a size 10 and a half, $2,000. Now, I personally had this pair right here used and I paid about 2,500. So that's kind of the market for the used. It's still gone up. But I'm wondering if we can find a pair like this. This is kind of, it's not too bad. This is kind of beat, but not too bad. Buy it on an app like Goat, or actually, and try to see if we can offer a low amount and see if they'll take it and see if we can, whatever the lowest price we can get. So this one's picture seemed decent right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put an offer. I actually put in a few offers already because it's gonna take a while. And I have not heard back on any yet, but let me go through some of the offers that I put on. So as far as GOAT goes, I have three, four pairs of shoes that I put an offer on. The first one is going to be the off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's that are pretty badly beat. They have a, they're really, really worn. Their price was at $19.95. I put the highest bid at $1,545. Next is going to be the UNC's, which I put an offer at $520 and a pair of pretty beat. I sold mine. I would probably sell mine for like... 650 so these prices are still kind of high now since it is goat we have the protection of their authenticity it has to go through goat and be verified which i assume they're going to be like 99 percent correct like all these other apps so if it does deem fake and somebody lets it go for a really cheap price we know why and it's just kind of a wash we get our money back and we don't have to worry about it now the next one is going to be ebay which has tried to make a little bit of a uh move in the sneaker world they just introduced this new thing of like no seller fees if it's over 200 dollars or something along those lines. So we're gonna look now and see what we can find. Now I actually hearted some because I was looking earlier to make sure. Like this right here, Off-White Nike Jordan 1 Chicago, red size 12, 100% authentic for $990. Tell me there's something suspect about that. A brand new pair for $1,000. How is that real when they're selling for $3,500? It doesn't make sense. So what I'm gonna do is check back in here in uh, you know maybe a day or two when some of these offers go through and let you guys know, but we're gonna come back when we have all the shoes and you guys will be able to see what we got how much we paid and if uh, we were able to find some steals or not, not some used shoes. So, let's see how much we spend. This is gonna be sad, it's gonna hurt. All right, bye. All right, so I just found one on eBay that I put a bid in for and that was 1950 on a pair of 8.5 Jordan 1 Chicago's. Looks like this person has sold a decent bit in the past. They have pretty good feedback. They've sold some a lot of like other shoes like Sean Witherspoon. So I'm interested to see if they accept my offer. It's They're listing it for 2,700, which is realistic. A used pair, I sold my used pair for 2,500. So it's realistic. So I'm gonna put a low offer and see what happens. And right when I did that, they just counter offered at $2,400. So it's a little high for me. I don't know if I wanna pay that much. And I don't know if they're real. That's the problem. I need to try to find if I can like message them or something. All right, guys, I wanted to take a second to remind you about our off-white dunk giveaway. Now, you guys can win any colorway of the Nike off-white dunks. All you have to do for that giveaway is you have to, one, subscribe to the channel, two, you have to follow me on Instagram, three, leave a comment on this post on the screen, and you can win a pair of Nike off-white dunks completely for free. So go ahead and check out the details of the giveaway down below. I just want to give you guys the opportunity for this. We have a big giveaway coming up for a million subscribers because we are close. We're 80,000 away. That's insane. I can't, I literally can't believe it. So let's go ahead, get back into this video. When you guys are free pair of dunks because these, are, I actually really, really like these. All right, so we have three pairs on the way right now of sneakers, two of them, I guess, I don't know if I've told you yet, but what I'm gonna do now, since eBay and other apps like Grail, they take forever, like people take forever to ship, stuff like that. I'm gonna go to the local Facebook marketplace to see if I can kind of lowball people and see if anybody would be interested in selling. So I just searched off-white Nike on the marketplace. It's gonna be kind of like local people who are in Georgia 
and let's see what we can find. Some of these joints might be fake, like these 200 bucks. I've had a couple pairs of these that are beat, and 550 is not that bad. It's a 13, not my size, but that might not be too bad. I'm gonna message him and see what do you think? I actually already messaged him before I started filming to make sure. Offered 450 and he said five and I was asking him all his questions about where he got them. So now I'm gonna go and try to work a little bit more magic and see um, what we could do. I'm gonna see maybe if he has an Instagram or something. They look pretty good, they're a little beat, but I went to his Facebook page and he has a lot of stuff for sale, like a lot of sneakers. So it's pretty, uh, it looks like pretty legit. I don't think they'd be fit. So I found a couple pairs on Grail and I sent some offers, but I'm not really getting anything back worth going for. So I went for these off-white Nike Air Max, the, the, the baby, like a kid's version. I offered a hundred bucks, haven't heard back from that. Uh, maybe they just forgot that they posted them because, oh, they posted them eight months ago. I just saw that. I think I'm gonna stay away from those. That's where we're at. I'm gonna go back and forth with this, maybe see if we can get a couple pairs, and then uh, hopefully we'll check in soon with all the pairs so you guys can see what we did because I think we're gonna find, we're gonna have some crazy pairs here. I already got one in. All right, so we're going back and forth with this particular guy that I, you know, was messaging on Facebook Marketplace, and we've come to, I'm trying to figure out this deal right now. So basically, he's got a pair of the OG off-whites that I showed you, and a pair of Volts, and the Volts are in my size, actually, and he'll sell the Volts for 600, he'll sell the OGs for 500, which the Volts is the cheapest used you can buy on GOAT right now, and the OGs I think is right there as well. So, But he said 1105 ship, and I think I'll do that. I mean, we could meet in person and I could get them and we could do it, so we'll have to see. I wanna meet in person, really. I don't like doing that Craigslist stuff anymore. I used to do that, but that should be it. I think those will be the pairs. We'll have five pairs total to show you guys. We spent a, a lick of money though for these, but they're good deals. So hopefully I'll be able to like flip and make you guys get a good deal too. Maybe sell what I bought them for, that'd be cool. So we'll see. You guys have to keep a look at hairsample.com and you might be able to see it. All right, so turns out we worked at a deal. I didn't wanna worry about shipping because he doesn't have PayPal. He's got some problems with his PayPal he's telling me about, but we're gonna meet up actually at a mall that's not too far from here. And we're gonna go inside and meet up so it's not sketchy at all and then buy both shoes. And I'm not bringing cash, I'm buying off, you know, using Zelle so it's like a safer way to pay somebody. So. We're gonna be doing that a little bit later, and then after we do that, we'll probably just be done and wait for the other pairs to come in and then update you guys when they're in and show you what we ended up getting, how much we ended up spending, all that kinds of good stuff. Cheapest pairs on the internet, and I guess a little bit in person, because I bought them from the internet, but per okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll catch check, catch it, catch them all. All right, it's currently kind of late, but we're headed out to Lenox Mall right now to go ahead and pick up these shoes. Hopefully they all check out, hopefully they're all legit. They look like they should be legit, hopefully it's easy. We're meeting in like public place inside the mall, so it's not sketchy or anything, because I usually don't like to do this, but I made an exception tonight just because, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. See you guys there. is all good the dude is actually in there buying another pair from somebody else but we got the shoes look through them we'll check in tomorrow morning so you guys can see what we actually got but i'm an idiot and forgot the camera in the car and i should have brought it with us but dude seemed cool he's in atlanta a local guy and he's buying for somebody else a ds pair of the unc off whites so uh let's see what happens i'll show you guys when we get back all right so we just left meeting up with the dude everything seemed good we checked them out we got two pairs we got a pretty good deal luckily one is my size and i'm gonna end up keeping the other is a little bit too big but he was actually there buying another pair of shoes uh, for somebody else and he was asking us to help legit check but it was cool to meet a local atlanta guy and uh we're headed back now if you guys are wondering what car we're in you guys can find out if you check out the second channel if you guys didn't know we have a car channel me and cameraman nick and i just posted the first video today actually when i'm filming this but if you guys are curious about it, i bought the cheapest ford raptor in uh georgia so interesting but these people in lennox don't know what they're doing but we went to lennox mall super busy mall so it's good it's safe don't have to worry about anything and i think that's the proper way if you're going to buy something in person definitely go to like a busy mall or something i used to go to starbucks even that i don't think is enough now you got to go to like the mall or something so we'll check back in tomorrow morning because it's obviously late now and uh, you guys will get to see all the stuff we got guys i got some heat this is the most heat i've ever had at once from this video and it was all super cheap but it's all actually really dirty too so we'll check in with you guys uh, in the morning and see you guys then so peace all right guys we're back with a lot of heat. We have five pairs of sneakers total here, and I think this is the video with the most heat condensed into one little segment. Now, I'm gonna figure out how I want to go about this because there's some pairs you guys don't know about. 
Now I believe these are the off-white Chicago's just because of the timing of when they came in. Then we have some off-white Prestos, then we have the two that I bought in person, and then we also have a pair of Chicago's again. So two pairs of Chicago's, five pairs. All right, we'll first show you the pairs in person that I went ahead and got from the local guy. First pair up is going to be the off-white Air Force One in a size 13. These are the OG, of course, has a cut zipper, no box, no extra laces, and they're pretty beat up. Now, this is a shoe that I believe can be cleaned up to make look really nice. Now, it kind of looks pretty nice right now. The inside is worn, the outsole is worn, it's yellowing. This is standard of these pairs once you wear them a lot. I've had a bunch of pairs actually that have worn pretty bad, and you can clean them, it is tough, but I think I might be trying to do a clean on these and see how good I can get them. Now, of course, these aren't my size, but I wanted to see what I could do for the cheapest. Now these came out, I think we agreed on around 475. It was like 450 to 500, but we bought these two pairs together. So it kind of like worked out. Might've been around 500. Now, if you guys are unaware, these are selling for brand new $1,425 in a size 13. Smaller sizes are selling for a lot more. Obviously we're missing a lot of things here, but for $500, if you're going to wear them, great deal. So this is one that I think ended up working out on one of the locals. Now, of course, we have to be wary about authenticity. And I vetted him. He actually has sold over 350 pairs. I found his Instagram, I went through everything. And there's nothing to me to lead to me to that would lead me to believe that he is selling a pair of fake shoes as well as he was trying to help me get him to legit check a pair he was buying. So works out. Size 13, Air Force One, 500, 475. Good pair if you're gonna be wearing them. And I think that's one of the cheaper shoes that you're able to find, like especially in this. I don't think you can find a cheap one on Grailed or Goat that is like actually legit. So good pair right there. I'm happy with that pickup. And I don't know if in this video, I'm going to be cleaning and trying to make them better and cleaner, but we will see at the end of it. Next up is another pair of Air Force Ones that I ended up, they were actually the cheapest pair on Goat as well. And they're not actually that beat up. And that is the off-white Air Force One in the Volt colorway. This comes with all the OG laces, everything that you need, size 11 and a half, and everything checked out on the box and everything when I looked at it in person. And these are in great condition. These are actually in better condition than the ones that I initially had that I wore the most out of. He ended up taping off the lettering on the inside to kind of save it. The bottom is not that dirty at all. We have the zip tie, we have the OG laces. This is one, if you're going to wear them, it is perfect because you have all the OG, you're still able to retain that value for going to sell them. And I was able to get a good deal by rounding up the two and adding them to a deal. And I think that's the best way to kind of work things because if you are looking for multiple pairs, you can typically get, you know, an additional 50 to hundred dollars off. So two pairs, this one is a personal that I can wear. Glad to have those back. You guys know I've had two pairs of these and I've sold both of them, but I'm ready to keep a pair because uh, I need some new shoes for a whole new setup I'm gonna be setting up soon. Two pairs, two Air Force Ones. Great deal. I think next, if I'm right, these are the Chicago Jordan 1. Luckily, I have two pairs of these that are here, so we can legit check one, because the other one's from Laced Up, very reputable place. Now, this one was from eBay, and the total price that I paid out the door, let me look, was $1,860. Now, we actually agreed on the price of $1,950, but eBay had a special going on where you can get up to $100 off a sneaker, so I was able to get them for $100 off. So that kind of worked in my favor, but $1,860, and the other pair that I got was 1600 so we'll see and compare i just noticed I, this is not an off-white jordan what box now i don't remember if he said it comes with the og box or not i don't remember it in the pictures so i hope that i didn't just get scammed um all right well let's see what's about to happen because uh this is not this says nike air max one se in black and white uh <laughs> let's see i'm let you guys see first all right let's just hope because i've actually been scammed on ebay before let's see Guys, is it good? Is it a thumbs up? Okay, thank God. Is the process of appealing a scam on eBay is very tough. So I'm, I'm glad. I actually had it on video too, so it works out. But we do have the off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's right here, and these are beat. Oh my. All right, let's put this box to the side. Doesn't really matter. Wow. Look at the toe box, bro. This looks like it's been through a sewer. Oh, that is beat up. So it looks like we don't have any OG laces, just the green laces. The zip tie is fully intact. The shoe itself is not that bad. The toe box is pretty nat. Like it kind of looks like it got wet and is it looks like it's wet in general. And that's one of the problems with these shoes is when they're dead stock, this is like bright white, but it changes so much because of the material. And with the newer Jordan ones, they ended up doing a different material on the toe and on the sides to protect that. If you can't see like the UNC right here, like I've dirtied these up and they're perfectly fine. Now there's a considerable amount of like heel drag going on up here. There's obviously all that yellowing on the back here on the red. It is kind of like, 
that's cracking. It looks like it's kind of cracking and like breaking through. But again, a pair, if you're going to wear them, 1860. To me, I thought I was gonna be getting a box. So I'm, it's not bad. It just, this one kind of looks pretty beat on the toe. So I'm not sure how I feel on these, but also we need to legit check them because we have another pair that is 100% legit because it is from a store, but it's cool to have another pair of these. I'm actually pretty hyped. And these, I could wear these and have literally no issues just beating them up because I'm not gonna do worse than that. With that, we'll go to the next pair, which is a pair of Off-White Chicago's from Laced Up. Now, if you guys don't know Laced Up, I buy a ton of mystery boxes from them. I actually reached out to their store and said, what is the cheapest Off-White Jordan one you have? They said $1,600 for size 11, but they're kind of beat. I said bet. That's cheaper than these by 250 bucks, and I don't know if you can get much worse than that. So let's see how we're doing if we have an OG box, anything like that, and I'm excited. Glad well, to get another pair, and I trust Laced Up for these to be legit, so I'll be able to legit check the other pair that we have right here. So let's see. We got the Laced Up bag. Ooh, we have a box. Thank you. Let's see what we have, and we have the box, size 11, Air Jordan 1. Oh, I'm curious to see how these are. Are they going to be more beat than these? Let's see. We have... Ooh, ooh, these actually, these seem a little bit, maybe they're better. These might be better. So we have OG laces. We have the OG tags right here. Pull these out. We put the box to the side. Having the box and everything helps. And let's see how we're looking. So they have a different insole in there. So I don't know, maybe the original is not included. The toe box is pretty uh, pretty crunched up, but the fabric does not look as bad as the other pair. They definitely look worn. You can see like they're creased. Overall, they look pretty similar. You can see the back, there is some white going there, the same as the other pair. There is a considerable amount of heel drag, which is pretty bad, but honestly, for 1600, these might have came out as a better pair. I'm just not sure. Maybe these went through some other process. Like, look how much worse that is. This is the 1950 pair, this is the 1600. Now actually what we need to do is compare and legit check these because obviously we wanna make sure they're all good. Now this is gonna take me some time because this is not an easy process, but I'm gonna go through and try to do my best of legit checking these. Now I don't know, I'm not, I gotta look some of this stuff up because there is a size tag and there are different dates on them, but I don't know how much that matters. This is gonna be tough, but I'm gonna go through and look at them in depth a little bit more and uh, then I'll have to check with you guys for now from what i'm looking at they do look pretty legit so pretty happy on that all right so last pair up is going to be a pair of prestos that i ended up getting for about 280 dollars now brand new they go for about 800 dollars so you're gonna see why in a second why i got them for 280 dollars there's a trend going around for this sneaker of customizing it i ended up getting a custom pair in order to see how much money we could save so you can see there's the box is kind of broke at least we have a box and yes we have a pair of off-white prestos that have been custom dyed blue so I assume they maybe took writ dye or something like that and tried to make it custom and make it unique not really my thing I typically don't you know I probably wouldn't do that to my shoes unless it's for a video box looks all pretty good and everything but as you can see right there these are supposed to be white and they're kind of like a tinted blue everything from the pictures and everything looked pretty legit and I'm gonna be legit checking again obviously but like you can see I can't tell if they tried to do blue or green but to get a pair that brand new goes for $500 more if you don't mind the custom I'm honestly curious if I could bleed these and make them back to white. I'm not sure. Comes with an extra pair of laces as well though, which is pretty good. But again, I'm indifferent. I, these are probably gonna be one I sell because um, uh, I feel like one of you guys might like it and for 280 bucks, like it'd be kind of cool to have them. For me, I, I don't know if I would wear them, but the fact that I have the box and the laces too helps and a zip tie. So if I told you I got all of these pairs right here for $4,600, which is the price of one of these brand new, would you believe me? I think I did a pretty good job for finding both of these for about 1100, finding both of these for 1600, 1800 and these for 280 I think I accomplished my goal of finding the cheapest pairs on the internet because I don't think you can find a legit pair cheaper than these two especially on this type of shoe if you guys like this type of challenge and would like to see me do it again maybe with some Yeezys or something like that let me know down below if you guys want the size 13 or maybe one of the Chicago's I'm probably gonna be putting them on my site for a little bit cheaper than I got them for because I obviously don't need two but let me know what you guys think down below if you enjoyed that and uh, don't miss out on your pair of the off-white dunks like I said before so I'll see you guys next time this is Harrison signing out